Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth here from What Elizabeth Creates, and today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my January Traveler's Notebook. So, as you can see, this Traveler's Notebook is from Studio Calico. They have offered a Traveler's Notebook subscription for quite a while now, and even though I've been subscribing for a while, this is the first notebook that I've actually completed, so yay me! Um, and I'm hoping to do one for every month of 2019. So um, the fun thing about the Studio Calico Traveler's Notebooks is inside the pages have um, patterns. So as you can see, there's a pattern on this side and then a grid page on this side. And that makes it really easy to put together layouts because you already, sorry about that. Um, it makes it really easy to put together layouts because you have a pattern on one side that you can kind of play with. So as you can see, this one is blank, and even though I'm considering this Traveler's Notebook complete, there are about four layouts in here that are blank, and I'm totally okay with that. I'm leaving them that way, and maybe if I, um, if I have some photos or some stories from January that later on in the year I want to add into this notebook, I can. So that's what I'm doing right there. I used the... Studio Calico, I believe this is called Bowie, I think, but um, this is a really gorgeous alpha set from Studio Calico. I love um, the inline effect. It's kind of modern, but with a little bit of a retro feel as well. And then I just used the Feed Your Craft inline alpha set for that little 19. And then to finish my cover off, I just added this little cork one, which is from a very, very old Studio Calico kit, I believe from like 2016, maybe even 2015. And that was actually a happy little accident. I, um, I smudged the cover and um, I really didn't like the big smear of black ink on there, so I just covered it with this. And I so here's my first layout. This is a four and a quarter by eight and a quarter photo of um, my family. And I decided to add just a photo of all three of us to all of my traveler's notebooks this year, just so that we can kind of see the progression as the year goes by. So that little stamp says picture perfect. And I just used um, some white ink to stamp that on that green paper. And this particular little January right here is from the Ali Edwards January Story Kit. I'm not sure if it was from 2018 or 2019. I subscribed since 2018 when it became a physical kit, so I'm not sure what year that is, but it is um, one of the Ali Edwards um, Stories by the Month kits. So this layout worked out really well to have the highlights of the month on there. This page was already um, in my traveler's notebook, so I just added little strips of journaling just to document the nine highlights of the month. And then I embellished with um, a few of the um, traveler's notebook stickers. So my second layout is using the Ali Edwards February Stories by the Bounce kit for 2019, and this is the digital version of the kit. Ali releases a digital version and then a physical version of last year's digital version. So um, if that doesn't quite make sense, I will link all of the information down below so you can subscribe. Um, I love this floral pattern. Um, this was originally a 3x4 digital card and I just sized it so that it would fit in my traveler's notebook. I think it looks this floral has my heart. I'm not really a floral girl most of the time, but this floral is just beautiful and it, um, it kind of had the same peachy color as um, the pattern that was already in my traveler's notebook so I just added two photos of my daughter making kissy faces and a chipboard element from the February stories by the month kit for 2019, the, the physical kit. So this is all digital kit and this is the physical kit. Um, my third layout is really, really simple, full page photo with a digital stamp. Um, I believe that digital stamp is from Feed Your Craft, but I'm not quite sure. And then these little acetate circles came in my Traveler's Notebook kit, so I just added them um, on that side of the layout. And this particular spread was really, really simple. This spread documents 
one of our date nights, we went to the Polynesian Bowl. As you can see, I spelled out right here. Um, and this is a really good way to add a lot of photos to your layout. I had four, so that worked really well. I backed my photos with some white cardstock, and then I just layered that onto this little green piece of paper, which, fun fact, is um, the letter from my husband's Stitch Fix order. <laughs> um, it was laying on my table, and I really loved the color, so I added it um, to back these photos, and then I also added it layered or later on in my notebook. Um, this digital template is from In a Creative Bubble. This is from her 3x8 Adventure Journal Cards, and this one was the travelog card. I'm going to bring that up here so you can kind of see. Um, I filled that out on the computer and cut it down. It was obviously 3x8, so it was the full length, and I just cut it down so that I could fit my photo up there. So this layout is probably my favorite in the whole notebook. Um, <laughs> I love this circular grid layout. I love all of the colors. Um, this layout really has my heart. So these chipboard pieces are from the Ali Edwards Details Story Kit, which I believe was from last year. I might have gotten it in a Stories Revisited sale, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it was from last year. I also printed out some digital cards from um, the Studio Calico kit that came with this Traveler's Notebook. I believe this is called Fresh Start, and you can purchase the digital versions of all of the cards um, on studiocalico.com, so that's what I did, and then I printed out a few of those cards so I would have the same blue that matched these scallops. And um, once I did that, I just stamped a few little sentiments on there and added these chipboards. Put my journaling on some vellum. I did back it with some white paper just because um, the scallops were so busy and um, you really couldn't see all of my journaling because it's really, really small because I had a really long story to tell. But um, I love this layout. It's, it's gorgeous in my opinion. <laughs> um, this is a layout that I did for the rest story kit. I used the digital version on this side and then the rest story stamps on this side. Um, the little sentiments above, like I love, I want, and I have, were already printed in my traveler's notebook and I just added these stamps to the little blank spots. I'm not totally in love with how this layout turned out. Um, obviously it doesn't have a picture, so that's a little out of my wheelhouse. I usually always have a photo in my traveler's notebook spreads, but it does document a really important and kind of a hard story, so I'm glad that it's in my traveler's notebook. Now, I do have some blank pages in here. I think I have about um, four, and that's totally okay with me. I'm calling this Traveler's Notebook done simply because I didn't feel like I really had any stories left to tell for January. I also do weekly project life. If you follow my channel, you can see that um, down below. I will link the playlist for my project life. So I felt like all my stories for January were documented. So I left a few of my layouts that I really loved, um, but I just didn't have a story to tell about them. And I figured if I remember anything from January or I decide that I want to add something, I can. So that's always a good way to look at it. You don't have to fill every single page. There's also a few pages that are stuck together in here um, just because I didn't like the patterns or I didn't have the stories to tell. So this is probably my second favorite layout in this notebook. This particular part with the heart and the background that's kind of the peachy color was already printed in my Traveler's Notebook and I added um, all of these stamps to make a kind of pattern background. Now I was really inspired to do this by um, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, Heba from My Little Journal. Um, if you follow her YouTube channel, you know that she is amazing at stamping. She always has these really perfect stamping layouts and she adds a lot of stamps to her traveler's notebooks and I really, really wanted to kind of emulate her and make a pattern with my stamps. So this is from the Feature Craft Moments Focused stamp set. 
which um, is done by In a Creative Bubble. So In a Creative Bubble designed this for Feed Your Craft. And as you can see, they've had a lot of love because <laughs> I used them a lot this month. And it was really perfect to use to make a pattern for this side of my spread. I really wanted to keep this side really simple. I added a couple of little stamps and some alphas which came in my Studio Calico kit just to, um, to write down snapshot. And then this side is just all of my stamps. I used some Kelly Perky, Clearly Kelly inks. I got these from I believe Joanne Fabrics. They were really, really cheap and they work really, really well. They do kind of bleed through this Traveler's Notebook, so you do have to be really careful with that, but I just, um, I adhered two pages together so you couldn't see the, um, the bleed through. So. so again, this is a blank spread. And then this spread was actually the first one that I did in this Traveler's Notebook. This was done for the Studio Calico Challenge. Um, I believe that's hashtag SC Challenge on Instagram. And the challenge was to use a large photo, a pop of yellow, and circles. So that's what you can see here. I used some of the washi tape that came in the kit and um, some of the acetate circles. And then I used this large 4 by 6 photo. I cut it down a teensy bit. Um, added this digital stamp from the, I believe this is a digital stamp from the Adventure Story Kit by Allie Edwards. And just added a little bit of journaling and then a, um, a stamp from the Allie Edwards Type Story Kit. So mostly Studio Calico, but I have to add some Allie Edwards in there um, just for good measure, you know? So this was, I believe, my second layout that I completed. I stamped along the side with the Right Now sentiment, and that is from the stamp set that comes with your Traveler's Notebook kit. I used some vellum to write my journaling. This digital stamp is from, I believe, In a Creative Bubble, the Beach Vibes digital stamp kit. And I just added some washi and, again, some of those uh, circle stickers from the kit. This layout is kind of half done. I haven't done the journaling yet, but um, I added the photo that I wanted to document. This is from the Allie Edwards Fun Story Kit, and this little sentiment that says the story of now right here is from the Stories by the Month January 2019 kit. And then this little peach circle is actually the cutout portion from here. And I just adhered this page to the page it was spacing just on the sides here. And then I have plenty of room to slip my journaling in there. Um, this is another favorite of mine. I used a glassine bag to, um, to add these cute little um, phones to my layout. Now, um, these little phones are from a paper pad by Allie Edwards. This is from her text story kit. So I just sized my photos to fit into like the screen. And then on the opposite side, I just added some journaling and these stamps from the tech story stamp. And then I just used the glassine bag so that I could insert those in there. And then this camera is of course from the moments focused um, stamp set by feature craft. I love that camera. And then this chipboard is also from the tech story kit. This layout is all about my daughter's um, favorite TV shows right now. And um, this card is from a really old digital set from Studio Calico. I'm not sure which one. I will try to link it down below if I can find it. And then um, these TVs are from the Feed Your Craft by Brandy Kincaid Show and Tell digital stamp. So this is a digital stamp. I printed it out, cut out the screen part, and then added my photos. Again, this was a layout that I was really inspired by Heba from my little journal. She did this with some TVs that were included in a Studio Calico stamp. That stamp was unfortunately sold out within, I believe, hours of its release. So um, I searched around for, for some stamps that I had in my stash and just used the digital version. Sorry about that, my camera cut off. So this was the last page that I showed you guys. Um, as I said, this was inspired by a layout from Lisa Varshine from at the Freckled Pickle, I believe, on Instagram. And she used um, a piece of vellum to write on her journaling and a large photo that spanned both sides of her traveler's notebook. 
and I also included this cork number from Allie Edwards. I only go from um, days 1 through 25 in my December daily and Allie always includes 1 through 31. So I have um, 26 through 31 always left. Um, so I just decided to put that there since my daughter was turning 28 months in January. And these little cork pieces are from a very old Gossamer Blue kit, I believe. And I just used some of these acetate circles which were included in the Studio Calico kit. And then stamped this Love Watching You Grow, which is from the Grow stamp set from Allie Edwards. And then just added um, the date right there. All right, so that is my January Traveler's Notebook completed. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.